Hey guys, this is Mark Piller. I'm the founder of Back Endless. With this video, I'm starting a new video series which will guide you through a process of building an Android app with Back Endless. This application is open source and is available on GitHub. We built it to show how to work with the most common APIs of our platform. I will show you the app first and then I recommend going through a step-by-step -step guide published on our blog and each and every video will be linked on YouTube. This guide reviews each functional step of the application along with the backendless APIs which provide the server-side functionality. I'm running the app in an emulator which you see here in my screen and it started directly from Android Studio. I'm going to run the app now. It starts with a login screen but there is also a way to register or log in with Facebook and Twitter. I have already gone through the registration process and this particular step will be reviewed in my next video. Let me log in for now. The idea for this application is a placement of a to-go order in a restaurant. So once you log in, you see a list of the restaurants which are registered in the back end. For every single restaurant, there is a list of locations. Let me go with Endless Suites and there is one location in Frisco. Once you select the location, the application loads the menu from the back end. For every single menu item there is a name, there is a price, and you can select these menu items, you can change the quantity, and place the submit button. Here you can edit the quantity, you can remove some of the items, and place the order with the restaurant. Now the order is submitted and you get the confirmation screen. So as you can see the workflow of this app is very very simple. However, there is a variety of the various APIs that the application uses with Backendless. So every single screen that you have seen and how they're all linked together and how the client interacts with the backend will be reviewed in my subsequent videos and you will be able to see the source and download it directly from GitHub. Thanks and I hope you will find this very useful so you can click to watch the next video right here on the screen now.